Hey guys and ghouls, it's Mantle here along with Baby Andreas, and today we're going to be checking out one of the brand new Monster Highs from the Garden Ghouls line, and this is Kaleo Denial, who is daughter of the mummies. I just picked her up from Amazon online, and she retails for $15. And she also comes with wings, so I can't wait to get her out of the box and check her out. But before we do, we'll first take a look at the packaging that she comes in. And this is the slimline packaging that she comes boxed in, and down the right hand side we have the Monster High logo, with a little skullet there in the middle. It's also surrounded by some beautiful flowers, and just under that we have the Garden Ghouls logo. She's also been recommended for ages 6 and up. And at the bottom left we have this flower which says Cleo Denial, daughter of the mummies. And around on the back we have all the other ones available on the line. And I've just recently reviewed Teresa of Thornwillow, and if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this one. And just under that we have a bit about the Garden Ghouls line, which says Legends of a wise monster who could help them with their botany assignment led the girls to a mysterious garden. Then while admiring beautiful critters and fanciful wings, they were suddenly showered with pollen by a scary tall tree. Then shockingly they sprouted wings of their own. Flying clumsily upward, they were surprised to be greeted by the tree. I'm frightfully sorry but I believe you were looking for me. And that was a look at the packaging that Cleo comes in. Let's go ahead now and open her up so she can spread her wings. And here is Cleo up close, ready to take flight, but before she does, let's check her out up close. And we'll start off by taking a look at her hair, which is mainly done in black, but it has some turquoise streaks there at the front, as well as on the side. She also has bangs there at the front, which have been swept over to the side. And her hair from the back is quite long and goes down to her waist, and I feel her hair isn't that good a quality, it's quite coarse, and not nice and soft like it normally is. And here's an up close look at her makeup, and she has Egyptian style eyeshadow going around her eye area, and it's done in pink and turquoise, and she's also wearing a light pink lipstick. And on top of her head she's wearing these retro yellow sunglasses, which have these leaf designs attached to the frames. And the outfit that she is wearing is done in black, and it has this bright floral print on it. There's also a single strap going over her left shoulder, which is made from a black tool, and it has blue glitter glued on, and it has blue glitter stuck to it. And the bottom half of her dress is done in two layers, and the bottom layer has this bright print on it, including beetles and butterflies. As well as these beautiful pink flowers. And the top layer is done in black tulle, and again it has the blue glitter stuck to it. There's also a piece of blue ribbon attached around her waist. And moving on down to her shoes which are done in a metallic gold, and they have beetles on the front. They also have straps at the top with tassels hanging from them. And the heels are also really interesting, and those are curled over. And Cleo also comes with a beautiful pair of colourful wings, and these are made from a hardened plastic. And located on her back she has these two holes, and her wings just simply clip into place. And this is what she looks like with her beautiful garden wings attached which are translucent and done in these bright colours. And it'll just spin around so you can see her from the back. And Cleo comes with her usual points of articulation, which is great to see. And she can move her head, her arms, and elbows, as well as her wrists. Also her legs, knees, and even her wings move. As she comes in the slimline packaging, no doll stand is included.
and that comes the end of my review for one of the newer Monster Highs out from the Garden Ghouls line. And again she's available from Amazon and she retails for $15. And she's really pretty though I do feel her hair is not really up to standard, it's really coarse and it does feel quite cheap. And her outfit also looks really nice, though it doesn't feel that great as well. But it is great to see that she came with articulation, though I would love to see that she came with a doll stand, it would also be really good. And my favourite part about her is her wings, I think those are really pretty. And it's great to see that they are made from a hardened plastic, so they're not going to easily bend or get broken. And that comes the end of our review for today, love to hear what you think about her in the comments below. And again if you want to check out Teresa Thornwillow, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this review. So that is it for me, love you guys, stay awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow.